What's going on guys? You have reached Zach Baby TV coming at you again live with a great update today. We are doing an Are You Afraid of the Dark unboxing. I have received several items in the mail, um, but I didn't want to do separate videos for it. I was waiting for one that came from Italy and it took like three weeks to get here. Luckily, undamaged. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and get started because I have the world's largest Nickelodeon Snick, Are You Afraid of the Dark Collection? So let's get started. First off, I got another disposable camera of Are You Afraid of the Dark? As you can see, I have one already up here on top, on the corner there. Well, I came across a second one, and I'm like, wow, like years, like forever, I didn't know that these even existed, and now I came across a second one, and both of them are sealed. Both of them are in the plastic. So that is awesome. So now I have two. Now, with Are You Afraid of the Dark, you must include some stuff that has to do with Nickelodeon-based fandom. So, what we have here is a Snick keychain. It's full of water, it's in really good condition, and it has all kinds of different things inside it. Um, things move around, up and down. It has the word Snick in here. The reason why I got it is because it actually has... Uh, a floaty thing of a campfire, which is Are You Afraid of the Dark themed, which was on Snick. So it goes with the collection because it is a part of Are You Afraid of the Dark. So we got a Snick keychain, which also includes Are You Afraid of the Dark symbol inside it. Next up, we have a TV guide from Canada. This is $1. It was it came out in July of what year? Who freaking knows, right? Come on, you turd. And in this TV guide, on page 17, supposedly, there's a lot more, in, there's 40-something pages here, towards the end of this TV guide, it has a promotion for Are You Afraid of the Dark? It says, Scary Stuff, Are You Afraid of the Dark is a spooky hit worldwide. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you that. Super cool. Which has the basic campfire here with all the, the cast members around the campfire. And it has a whole article about it with Sinar and YTV and then the US cable channel Nickelodeon talks about all that cool stuff and how it's becoming a huge hit. Here we have a Shivers magazine. This magazine is fairly large. It even includes X-Files at the bottom, so that's cool. There's also an article on X-Files in here. Um, but we got it because it has a special section for Are You Afraid of the Dark? And as you can see, the table of contents mentions the Ghastly Grinner. Awesome. And we have a Carnival of Monsters, page 8. So we're going to go to page 8. And it talks about all the different types of monsters in the TV show throughout the different seasons. Sorry about the glare. I'm going to turn the page here. Mm-hmm. Then there's one more page where it's talking about Are You Afraid of the Dark? And the TV show and the different monsters. Very cool. I get all types of advertisements. Anything that has to do with Are You Afraid of the Dark, I pick it up. Here we have another magazine. This magazine is called Famous Monsters of Filmland, which also mentioned Are You Afraid of the Dark? You guessed it right, guys. And here you go. Are you afraid of the dark? This magazine, this section with Are You Afraid of the Dark is all in black and white, but it's still awesome. Talks about a lot of different things. Too many to name. Here's a black and white picture of the Midnight Society, along with another monster guy. The Ghastly Grinner, of course, and some others. It's very cool. I wish it was in color, but it's still awesome. Here you go. Cutter's Treasure in, on one side. And that's it. 
for this magazine at least. Next we have a 1999 issue of Nickelodeon magazine which also s features Star Wars on the cover with young Anakin Skywalker and R2-D2. And here we go, it's called Ooze News and it actually talks to the new members of the Midnight Society because remember they came back with two extra seasons and they want to know are they afraid of the dark? And this is all their answers. They ask them if they're, you know, do you like scary movies? What's your scariest subject in school? What is your favorite campfire snack? Are you afraid of the dark? So I'll just give you a glimpse of this. It's too much to read, but at least you could check it out. And remember, it's the new cast for the last two seasons. But it's Are You Afraid of the Dark, so I picked it up. They didn't make a lot of stuff, so when I find something about it, I pick, I grab it as soon as possible. Now you know I have all three of the audiobooks on tape, new and sealed. I recently came across the third one, The Tale of the Phantom Manor, opened, which I picked up online, and I mailed it to a company in Colorado that's going to convert it to an MP3 CD, so I could listen to it for one, and two, I'm going to upload it on this channel here, so all of you can enjoy the forgotten lost tape of the tale of Phantom Manor. I mean, really guys, these things are like super rare. They are lost tapes. It, it's impossible to get a hold of these. Like, I don't think there was a lot produced. Per, um, per... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Whatever. So, I recently came across the second one, which is the purple one in the middle, which is more tales from the Midnight Society. And here it is opened, which I'm going to also send to that company to get put on MP3. More tales from the Midnight Society. Sorry for the glare. Oh well, deal with it. It's in great condition. Side one and here's side two. And not only that guys, but it, they I actually got a hold of the storybook for this which is part of the sealed plastic thing that I got back there. Now, and this it is, it says, uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? More Tales from the Midnight Society. Um, the Strange Snowman and, um, and Other Scary Stories. I've never heard any of these. So it's going to be awesome to actually, to finally hear these after so many years. Here's the back of the book. Um, which talks about the different ones, like the tale of the new kid, the tale of the strange storybook, the Tale of the Black Cat, and The Tale of the Strange Snowman. Now, when I open this book here, guys, the very last page is a picture of the Midnight Society, which is super awesome. Right? And I was thinking there was pictures of, like, different characters from each of the stories, but no. All it is here is pretty much you read along. Are you afraid of the dark? And you read along each story word for word is in here so you could listen to it and read as you go I guess that's okay whatever I was expecting I like picture books okay for the grand finale I had to look internationally for this I don't know what the hell it says but it's so incredibly rare and I did not realize that are you afraid of the dark was really popular in Italy obviously it was because I got a hold of an are you afraid of the dark board game from Italy it's not in English, guys. I tried to pronounce it. Hi, Pora del Bulio. Something like that. But check it out. It is the Midnight Society around the campfire. And it's a, it's a freaking legit board game. And it's heavy. It's heavier than the American and Canadian versions. This thing is heavy. Um, I just thought this was so beautiful. Um, someone actually sent me a message on Messenger on Facebook on my Zach Baby TV um, ch uh, page and said if you're interested check this out and that's where I came across this and it was not cheap um, paying for something in Europe it costs extra uh, but I thought this was so cool I had to pick it up I'm, I've never seen it before so I, I had to have it here's the back of it and it looks really really creepy check it out Doesn't that look cool? And guys, you already know, if you follow me on your Instagram, on my Instagram, and 
on Facebook, but I got all three VHSs signed by DJ McHale, who was the co-creator of Nickelodeon's Snick. Are you afraid of the dog? Uh, I have protective cases now, um, but check it out. So there, here it is, Cutter's Treasure. I'll open it up for you so you can see it. But I got all these signed by the creator. Awesome, right? I got all three VHSs signed by the co-creator, DJ McHale. Nightmare Tales. Signed. And these VHSs are in very good condition. Some signatures, guys, because it's awesome. And Ghostly Tales. Signed by DJ McHale. It would be awesome to get the other co-creator, but he's MIA. I'll settle with DJ, because he's the man! Anyways, guys, that wraps it up for this unboxing video for Are You Afraid of the Dark? The ultimate and amazing, world's largest Are You Afraid of the Dark collection, all up in your face. There's just so much here, I'm blocking some of it. And then I got stuff over here that's on the walls that you don't even see it fully. But it is... A pleasure and very exciting to say that I pretty much have everything that was ever made that I could think of that I've asked people about I think I have it all and if I come across something new I will be very surprised but it's just freaking beautiful guys so I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. We got a keychain. I got three VHSs signed by the co-creator. I got a board game from Italy. I got like three three magazines that have advertisements about the TV show. I got a TV guide that has an advertisement page for Are You Afraid of the Dark. I got an open tape of more tales from the Midnight Society with the audiobook. I also got the other tape, which, oh, I don't have it, sorry. I mailed it to the company, as I said before. I mailed it to the company so I could get that on MP3. Um, I didn't show you that. I've already mailed it to them, and I'm still waiting for them to send it back to me. So, yeah, guys.